हेलो नमस्कार एंड आई वैक टू ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड गाइड इरफान वंस मोर विथ यू फ्रॉम योर वेरी ओन चैनल एस्ट्रो एश्योरेंस वी हैव बीन डूइंग दिस सीरीज ऑफ हाउ प्लैनेट्स डू इन सर्टेन हाउसेस हाउ दे डू इन सर्टेन साइंस वन ऑफ द सीरीज दैट वी डू इज आल्सो अबाउट द बेस्ट रिजल्ट्स ऑफ प्लैनेट्स इन सर्टेन हाउसेस वी हैव आल्सो स्टार्टेड द सीरीज ऑफ हाउ प्लैनेट्स मे नॉट बी डूइंग सो वेरी वेल इन सर्टेन हाउसेस एज़ वेल सो इन दिस सीरीज including all the other planets we have also talked about how the planet jupiter will be performing or giving its best results in certain placements in certain houses i will also be giving you a link in the comments section below where you can access the video where jupiter giving the best results in certain placements will be discussed today we will be talking about what can be some of the toughest placements of jupiter in the horoscope now when we talk about the best placements or toughest placements it doesn't mean that this is something which is absolute in itself it doesn't mean that a planet if i am saying gives very good results in the lagna in the first house that means in every state in every sign it will give the best results it is more comparative or subjective between the better results in certain houses versus not so good results in certain houses so please see it in that context rather than thinking that if a planet is placed in a certain house it will always give the best results it means that it may give a comparative better result in that house in that particular sign when compared to some other house in some same sign when the planet is placed there but before we go ahead a request to all of you that if you find my channel which is helpful to you my videos which also answer some queries in your life then please help youtube promote this channel further promote these videos and this particular video further by watch of you subscribing to my channel clicking those notification buttons and also liking my video and sharing my video through that you will not only be helping others but also be earning some good karma so please don't let go of this opportunity please earn some good karma please go ahead like my video share my video and please subscribe to my channel please do press the bell notification now to jump to the topic of the day which is talking about jupiter's placement in those houses where it gives comparatively not so good results or tougher results compared to the some other houses so i want to jump to that house where jupiter gives the tougher results compared to the others and in that light the first house that i'm going to talk about is the third house now why is it that jupiter gives not so good results or one of its tougher results in the third house the reason being is if you look at the characteristics of jupiter jupiter expands the nature of the house the manifestation of the house the results of the house that it is placed in so if jupiter goes into the third house what does it do firstly the third house is the house of effort so when jupiter goes into the third house it expands the effort that you need to put in life also the other thing is that certain aspects may be good because jupiter will also expand your communication but it may also tend to make you a little more verbose also while it may make you wise but sometimes you may get into this activity of trying to be too wise or trying to guide others trying to advise others so it's not so bad especially if you are a teacher or if you are a guide in some way or the other however normally people don't like unsolicited advice so it sometimes it can rub off on the wrong people however the other thing jupiter does when it goes into the third house is also makes you too wise sometimes you may overthink or procrastinate before you take up any activity you may think twice thinking whether i should really do this does this really need me to put in so much effort or not so on one side it may make you to put in more effort the job or the service that you do may require you to put in more effort or you because you are wise and you feel others are not putting in that kind of an effort how will the project be done how will the task be done you by nature of you being the wise person may tend to put in harder effort without even getting the right remuneration for it and so this is either a placement of where you are putting in more long hours more hard work without getting the fruits or sometimes you may procrastinate thinking that is it really required for me trying or being too wise thinking that this may not be as fruitful as maybe doing something else so jupiter in the third house will give you this particular situation that you are in where 
getting enough credit for your work getting enough gratitude for your work getting enough rewards for your work may not be coming through so the definitely slightly tougher placement for jupiter when compared to the other houses when jupiter goes into the third house now when jupiter goes into the sixth house what is the sixth house of the sixth house is the house of competition inimical forces those people who may be talking or acting behind your back but it is also the house of service maybe a job that you do under somebody so yeah when jupiter goes into the sixth house it it expands your service potential so you end up doing a lot you contribute much more than is required in the job required in the service so people like you because you are somebody who is putting in hard work colleagues may also like you however they may also see you as easy meal what do i mean by that now you are the wise person so they keep coming to you asking you for help asking you for support you being the large hearted person because of the jupiter you tend to give in so you end up putting in more long hours firstly because jupiter expands the house of service you put in more hours you serve more you become a better servant and because you are the wise person you don't tend to say no to others you are the nice guy or nice person so you tend to put in more work for others as well third because it is the house of inimical forces people who are acting behind your back many times competition because in today's time everybody is trying to ride rough shot over others and trying to steal a march over others and do better than others so at least showcase themselves better than others house of competition so here yeah, everybody is competing with everybody else however you again being the wise person you feel is it really important for me to be in the rat race how will it serve everybody is vying for the same placement third this also requires you to be a little bit more diplomatic be a little tactful but the large hearted jupiter that you are the large hearted person the most server the bigger server the bigger servant you value in the wisdom and in the servitude that this house brings in so this is a house which would make you put in more work put in more effort put in long hours help others also being somebody's other people's crutch also yet may not be able to give get that gratitude and because jupiter expands it will expand the competition that you face because you are the nice person but you are the wise person you are the person who puts in hard work others may try to use tact manipulation to be able to steal a march over you so sometimes there would be people who act behind your back you are not able to see it because you are not part of the grape vine also and hence jupiter may not tend to give you the best results in the 6th house the other reason also is jupiter is not the karak of the 6th house it is saturn and so wherever saturn does much better jupiter tends tends to not give you the best results and hence jupiter in the 6th house may not be able to give you the better results compared to some other houses when jupiter goes into the 7th house normally jupiter in any house especially the kendra houses does very well however it does not do so very well in the 7th house now this there should be a slight differentiation between genders also here because for women jupiter tends to become or is the karaka of the husband the partner so jupiter should give you slightly better results here however the better results that it gives to women when jupiter goes into the 7th house are very limited so if jupiter is strong in the 7th house normally you may get a husband or partner who's much better than you in the social arena in the social structure and also better in also the affluence of the family that the person comes from so normally the partner may come from a better family more affluent family a better well to do family also however this can also expand the relationship or in the relationship the partnership component which means sometimes you tend to give more you tend to become the large hearted person you tend to contribute more sometimes you are too wise to pick on a fight so what do you, what does jupiter do in the 7th house it makes you very large hearted in a partnership you tend to more give more you tend to contribute more and sometimes it is also a placement where you can be taken advantage of because you tend to give more in a partnership secondly it keeps you in a partnership for too long this is not a placement where you want to break away from being in a team and then vying for the leadership role 
wanting to be the captain of the ship wanting to be somebody who will lead the project lead a team lead a department lead an organization or even lead the industry sometimes you are relegated to the back benches and so your jupiter tends to not give you great results because of expansion in your partnership component so you may be doing well in a partnership but yet even in a partnership you tend to contribute more give more being the large hearted person not wanting to pick up a fight as well so for women maybe slightly better results but for men definitely not the best of results also because it is about higher learning so what does somebody do here somebody says things that and because various experiences also teach you so this is also a house where jupiter teaches you a lesson about how you need to take part in the relationship how you should partake in a partnership so one of the tougher results for jupiter also comes from the 7th house jupiter going into the 8th house going into a dusthana dusthanas are where saturn is the karaka of the dusthanas so in any house where saturn does better jupiter tends to not give the best results remember that jupiter also gets debilitated in the sign of capricorn which is ruled by saturn so when jupiter goes into the 8th house jupiter tends to also get suffocated in the 8th house one of the reasons is that the 8th house means depth this is not the depth of wisdom of learning this is the depth of mysteriousness of darkness jupiter doesn't do very well in an environment which is very dark jupiter tends to bring light to a place however it is about learning 8th house is about the mysteriousness those things which we don't know sometimes we may not need to delve into it sometimes we don't need to go there and that's why mars does much better here and then saturn does much better in the 8th house jupiter on the 8th house expands the mysteriousness expands the depth expands the challenges the obstacles the issues the problems which come from the 8th house so sometimes jupiter also expands the suddenness which the 8th house represents so sudden obstacles and big obstacles sudden challenges big challenges sudden issues big issues and so many times when jupiter goes into the 8th house it also brings in sudden illnesses which later on can become very troublesome even chronic so usually a lot of people who have jupiter in the 8th house and if they don't have a strong lagna they may also be people who may be suffering from either cholesterol related challenges or diabetes sugar related problems in the long run sometimes it may also make somebody have health challenges because of weight issues so if somebody has jupiter in the 8th house there are various challenges which one will have to contend with because of certain obstacles some certain issues certain problems increase of the challenges bigger problems bigger issues health challenges also the other thing jupiter does in the 8th house is also limits the potential that you can derive out of the 8th house so in some areas it may give you good results for example in taxation or money related issues however in many other areas in fact of how to contend with sudden challenges sudden issues where a sharp mars may be able to do that better or a patient saturn may be able to do better or a responsible sun may also be doing better jupiter tends to not give you the best of results when it goes into the 8th house jupiter in the 10th house jupiter tends to not give you the best results in the 10th house one of the reasons is that the 10th house has capricorn energies capricorn is a sign of debilitation for jupiter the other thing about the 10th house is what is the 10th house about the 10th house is about your designation your authority at work related to your career related to your karma also so when jupiter goes into the 10th house usually the tact that is required the diplomacy that is required to be able to do well at work so at work you cannot be the too large hearted person too wise person you have to be somebody who is very tactful who is very diplomatic who is very sharp who is very clever if you look at history you will find history is replete with those people who have done very well in politics or in wars but generally the people who have been the ones who have excel most or done best you will hardly find that jupiter will be in the 10th house you look up any horoscope the the jupiter in the horoscope in the 10th house is the wise person who can be 
ना एडवाइजर टू द किंग एडवाइजर टू द जनरल एडवाइजर टू द हाइस्ट अथॉरिटी एट वर्क सो यू टेन टू एंड अप बिकमिंग द एडवाइजर टू द बॉस टू द सुपरवाइजर टू द मैनेजर टू द सी ई ओ बट जनरली यू डोंट टेन टू बिकम द टॉप मोस्ट लीडर अदर रीजन इज बिकॉज द किंग फील्स यू आर सच अ गुड एडवाइजर सो ही कीप्स यू एज एन एडवाइजर नेवर टेक्स यू टू बिकम द जनरल बिकम अ मिनिस्टर so if you look at history you will find that akbar's advisor one of the advisors was birbal but birbal was a known for his wisdom birbal was known for his cleverness for his tact so with jupiter in the 10th house you will find that many times you end up becoming the wise person not having the diplomacy not having the tact not having the little bit of manipulation which is required specially in today's time than in earlier times so jupiter tends to give you higher work harder work tends to relegate you to becoming an advisor seldom giving you an opportunity to really shine which a sun may be able to do even a mars may be able to do even a saturn in the long term may be able to give so one of the most challenging placements for a planet such as jupiter is in the 10th house especially because it also has the capricorn energies when you are debilitated because of your large heartedness because of your tending to give more rather than asking for more and that is the placement of jupiter in the 10th house now friends that we have talked about and discuss the placements of the tougher placements of jupiter in the various houses check in which house your jupiter is is it in those houses where we have talked about jupiter giving some of its best placements best results or one of the tougher placements also check which sign jupiter in is in because it will tend to give you slightly better results or slightly tougher results by virtue of which sign it is placed in however wherever jupiter is jupiter tends to give you some benefic results jupiter tends to make you more wise but from a material perspective if you have other benefics which are involved then you can get much better results however if jupiter is under the aspect of a malefic place with a malefic place in a malefic sign then it can be a cause of larger trouble rather than larger gains so friends like this video share this video and if you looking for a personal consultation from me please reach out to me the link is given below till some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide fun signing off